carrying that Brazilian flag, but making his home in Florida over the last several years with his brother, Gilbert Burns, who's in his corner tonight. Meet Herbert Burns, the 11 fight pro veteran, breaking in his UFC contract. All right, here we go. Let's see what Landwehr's got. So Landwehr's oh. showing us what he's made of oh. early, and now lands a couple of oh. He's in! He's in! Oh. He's in. Oh. He's They're trying to walk, so he's falling yeah. all over the place. He's falling into the cage. The yep, they've got to control him. Up. Yep, they've got to control him and get him sat down. That knee turned out the lights instantly. We wanted to see this first fight, Mike, but we were like, don't oh. slap on this first one. Talk about a tone setter, boys. Look at that angle. Boom! Oh! And that was the point of the knee, right on the chin. You don't take those, boys. No thighs. Sometimes when a knee lands, it's a little bit of the thigh. The meat connects with the face. It's not as it's not as damaging. But that was the patella, right on the chin. You are going down. Well, the UFC's only fighter from the country of Ecuador tosses a souvenir to the crowd. And man, we were just talking about Andre Yule, who wants to start faster. Chito Mera on a four-fight winning streak. He's ended all four of them, but three in the second round after riding out some adversity. Spinning back fist from Yule. Now front kick is Vera, now goes back in. And grabs the neck as Yule bent over for a moment. Can he finish this one up? Well, Yule's trying to fight the Hans. Yule fights the right hand off. Vera's not done. Now he lets go of the neck. Now this is huge for Marlon. Heavy shots from a great position for Marlon. Vera, oh, big shot. Big elbows. Wow. And gets loose with the left the hand. The referee's looking close. Oh, Steps in. Marlon Vera does it again. Five straight wins. Five straight finishes. Unbelievable. Landing big shots, scoring points, but doing damage as well. Taking the life out of Andre. Knees to the body, knees to the head. And that one was a kick to the head as well. And then from there, just swarmed. Knee to the face again. Tried to get the guillotine in a moment. But look at that, all out action for Marlon. He senses the finish. Big forearm smash there, elbow actually. And then from the, to the top position, this was the end. Pouring down punches, elbowing him in the face, just putting pressure on him, absolutely relentless. All right, here's the 31-year-old Vina Janjidova. Second UFC appearance for her, came into the UFC, Paul, 14-0, ran into Carla Esparza in her UFC debut. Didn't have a full camp for that fight. She said she still was not pleased with the effort. Another opportunity for her here tonight as a three to one favorite against Paul. In these grappling exchanges, she hasn't exactly been winning them. She touches her on the feet a little bit, and then Janji Doba makes waste no time hitting this fight to the ground. Yeah, this is a problem this is here. Tight. Yeah, you're not getting out of this one. This one's tough. She's got to go collect that top hand. Pull it down. Yep. It. Pull that top hand. Oh, she readjusted the lock. She readjusted the lock, man. She's going to go to sleep here. It's over. Now she's not even fighting the hand. Vina Janji Doba puts Mallory Martin away in round two. She waits for your opponent to overcommit just a little bit, and if she doesn't get the initial double leg, she steps over the outside of that leg, trips you up, takes you to the side, and she immediately takes the back. And she was gonna throw in different variations of this rear naked choke and adjust that grip all day. Yep. She never let go of the squeeze. That's the sign of somebody that's got a great rear naked choke. Yeah, when she was able to slip her hand away, Mallory fought the top hand. When she got it off, the moment she was able to re-attack that hand, it was over. What a Ooh. performance by Janji Doba. So Vina Janji Doba gets it done tonight.